what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to show you guys a few of my recent ebay pickups that i got um so one of them that just came in uh, actually like 30 minutes ago um is a action figure of a jedi and this is one that i have been wanting probably since like november i remember looking on ebay at a listing of it and i was going to try to get it then i think i just kind of forgot about it so uh recently i looked up um listings and his price actually went up a little bit since then but i was able to find one for about 40 bucks and it is asherod head from star wars legends um the comics and stuff so yeah very very cool figure this there's so much lore behind asherod um i've made a few videos on him actually i made him in lego and then i made a short kind of explaining who he was um yeah, so he is a human. I know he looks like a Tusken Raider, but he actually is a human who kind of undertook the Tusken Raider way of life. Uh, and he was a Jedi um, during the Clone Wars. He fought alongside Anakin. Long story short, he turned to the dark side and became Darth Krayt. So, yeah, there's a lot of lore behind him. But, obviously, I'm trying to get more Jedi. And he was one that I had seen, and I was like, oh, he's so sick. Because, like... Just having a Tusken Raider Jedi is just cool. Um, and I think that he has some pretty cool robes and stuff. So I did um, go ahead and pick him up for 35 bucks with $5 of shipping. So around $40. Um, he did come out in a comic 2-pack. I believe the Dark Woman was the other person that came in the pack with him. But he is really the one I wanted. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at him. So yeah, he has his t uh, Tusken Raider wrappings on there you know i wonder if whenever the book of boba fett came out i wonder if that made him more expensive um he has his scarf here which some of the listings do not have the scarf and i did not want to get one that did not have the scarf i wanted to have the scarf um so i'm glad that i was able to find a listing with that he has these really cool um brown robes and his pants are actually light gray and then his boots they have tan wrappings with tan boots and then brown gloves so really really cool on the back here he does have a really long ponytail or like a braid i think and the neat thing is about this figure is you can remove the helmet or helmet um his tuscan ritter wrappings to reveal his face so there's Asherod, um, has long black hair with the braid, obviously. And tattoos, tattoos all along his face. Now that I think about it, I don't know how somebody would have got this wrapping off because of his braid. Um, but yeah, tattoos all along his face, really cool design there. Uh, I'm not sure why he has these tattoos. Maybe it was like a tribalistic thing for like the Tuscan Raiders. But yeah, and then like a pretty just bland face, you know. But I think that the fact that you can like have him with his helmet off or with the mask off is really neat. So yeah, you could totally have him displayed without the mask. I'm not going to though. I think I'm going to keep the mask on just because just like the look of a Tuscan Jedi is really cool. So now for his accessories... Um, let me go ahead and put this back on. Yeah, it's just, it slides on really nice. Let's put both him back there. Um, he does come with a gaffy, gaffy stick. I think this one might be missing an end because there's like a little pinhole. Um, so that might be the only thing that's kind of missing from this set. And I'm honestly okay with that. Um, he does come with two green lightsaber so this one is the one that's really cool the hilt has like these like teeth claw looking things and a really thick blade i don't know why this blade is so thick but it's very thick oh just look how cool that is it has like little stitch marks it looks to be like leather and it has like the stitch marks that's so sick so we got that lightsaber and then he has two green lightsabers so then the second one we have just has like a normal hilt so we'll go ahead and give him these, uh, I don't know which hand shall hold the thicker one. Maybe this one, can this one hold it? Yes. 
Also, the thicker one, you can take the, the saber off the blade um, if you don't, or if you want to make him hold it on his belt. <clears throat> you can make him hold the hilt on his belt. And then we're going to give him this one here. Oh, this is so sick. Wow. Look at that. Tusken Raider Jedi. Finally added to the collection. Very, very cool. Oh, I love how that looks. So unique and different. Wow. All right, so that is one of the things I picked up. The other thing actually arrived a couple days ago. Um, and I said something about it in my vlog, but I just figured I would make a video once Gerard came. So this is something that... Uh, I think I've seen this Jedi a few times, but I didn't know what he came in. So I looked up what he came in, and then I snagged a good deal on it. And it is Soy Choi from the Revenge of the Sith 2-pack wave. So, yeah, really, really cool. I'm not going to be opening it because I think that this is just a really sick container. Star Wars Order 66 um, cylinder container released in 2007. But, yeah, so this is something that they did um, around that, like, time frame. And basically, it was Target exclusives, and it would come with a Jedi and a clone. Um, most of the Jedi and clones were, like, ones that we've seen before. But for this one specifically, we got Sui Choi. Sui Choi. I don't know. I, I looked up how to say it. It's, like, Sui. Sui Choi. He is basically this really little... Oh, Jedi down. <laughs> um, Shrata fell. But he's this really little alien dude. And he's really cute. Um, yeah, really small, like I said. Like, he's, like, half the size of the clone trooper. But, yeah, as you can see in the back there, he has, like, a little cone head. Um, he is pretty articulated, pretty detailed. He has, like, a little smile, too. He's smiling about something. Um, and then he has a little cloth robe, which actually has wire in it that you can pose around. And he has a small lightsaber to fit um, his size. So, yeah. Really cool. So I wanted to get Sweet Choi. Um, so I looked him up and he was like $30 alone. But then if you were to get him sealed with the Bark Trooper, which this is a yellow Bark Trooper, I'm assuming he'd probably be a part of Bly's Legion. But I've seen a lot of videos about this figure. I know that he's JCC 224's favorite clone figure. So to get him is really, really sick. Um, but um, to get the, the sealed was actually only $10 more. So I was like, you know what, might as well pay $10 more to get the extra trooper, and at least I'm getting it, like, sealed. And Yeah, so I'm just going to keep it sealed because I like how it looks. Um, yeah, on the back here, there's what Swede looks like. Um, he was from the comics, and obviously the Bark Trooper. He looks kind of creepy on the back, one in the front, he's, he's real cute. So, yeah, guys, that is my little eBay haul. Um, really thankful to have gotten these figures. Uh, these are ones that I've uh, seen online a few times in the past and was able to snag some pretty good deals on them. Um, so yeah, you know, the Jedi Army continues to grow. I am going to be taking a little break from eBay um, to save up my money because I'm eventually going to try to go on like a big spree with all my saved up money. Um, so yeah, but these were kind of just like last minute deals that I picked up. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.